What is threat modeling? Methodologies. Threat modeling is a vital step in cybersecurity to secure any technology system, identifying potential risks and vulnerabilities. It's a structured approach to proactively identify risks and implement measures to mitigate them. This guide covers its importance, the types of threat models, and the process involved. Threat modeling is a systematic approach that aims to identify the security requirements of a system, pinpoint security threats, and potential vulnerabilities, and prioritize remediation methods. But before we start moving forward make sure to subscribe channel and click on the bell icon. Sprint Seal provides training programs, certification programs on their websites. If you're interested in them do check out the links in the description. With this method, artifacts are produced like an abstraction of the system, profiles of potential attackers, and a list of potential threats. The ultimate objective is to have developers and security professionals with a clear understanding of the system's security risks, allowing them to proactively implement mitigation measures. Importance of Threat Modeling Threat modeling is important for avoiding the severe consequences of a security breach, such as data loss, monetary losses, and reputational damage. It provides create a comprehensive methodical approach for identifying the specific security risks associated with a given system or application and a security plan to address them. This is especially important for complex systems or applications that can be challenging to secure without a structured approach. Threat modeling can also help reduce the attack surface by identifying and fixing backdoors and other potential vulnerabilities in the IT ecosystem. Additionally, it helps in reducing IT complexity by identifying unnecessary endpoints, software, or resources that can be eliminated. By performing threat modeling, organizations can better protect their assets, reduce their risk exposure, and improve their overall security posture. Types of threat models. There are various types of threat modeling, each with a distinct focus and purpose. The most common kinds of threat models are listed below. Data flow diagrams. Data flow diagrams are one of the most common types of threat models. They depict the data flow of data inside a system, including inputs, outputs, and data processing operations. A data flow diagram is used to identify potential threats to the data's integrity, confidentiality, and availability. Attack trees. An attack tree is a different kind of threat model that focuses on potential paths a hacker could take to exploit a weakness. The tree structure allows security professionals to examine different attack scenarios and determine the most likely risks. Attack trees are frequently used to identify the weakest links in a system and to develop a comprehensive security plan that addresses the most serious threats. Misuse cases. Misuse cases are a form of threat model that focuses on how an unwanted usage of technology can occur. These models highlight potential weaknesses that attackers can take advantage of as well as potential abuse scenarios for authorized users. Misuse situations are frequently used together with other threat models to create a complete security plan. 7 Steps in the Threat Modeling Process The threat modeling technique includes numerous components. Depending on the kind of threat model being utilized, these steps can differ, but often contain the following. Step 1. Determine which system or application will be modeled. The first stage in the threat modeling process is to select the system or application that will be modeled. This could be a newly developed system or application, or it could be a current one that requires improving or securing. Step 2. Establish system boundaries. The next step is to provide the system or application boundaries. This includes recognizing the system's components and figuring out how they relate to one another. Step 3. Draw a data flow diagram. If you are using a data flow diagram, the next step is to draw an illustration that shows how data transfer through the system. This entails identifying the data's sources, outputs, and processing steps. Step 4. Analyze key threats and vulnerabilities. The next stage is finding possible system risks and vulnerabilities. This includes both external dangers like attackers and inside threats like workers or contractors who may have access to sensitive information. Step 5. Establish threat areas. Once observed, threats should be prioritized according to their possible effect on the system. This enables security professionals to narrow their efforts to the most serious threats and the most critical vulnerabilities first. Step 6. Create mitigation plans. After recognizing the most severe challenges, the next stage is to devise mitigation solutions. Adding further security measures, such as multi-factor authentication or encoding, or changing the system architecture to plug vulnerabilities could form a component of it. The Threat Modeling Process 
The process of threat modeling entails understanding an organization's resources, applications, and functions as well as creating security profiles for each application. The next step is to recognize and rank potential threats, record harmful incidents, and explain how to fix them. Simply put, threat modeling is an essential activity that entails evaluating an organization's digital and network assets, identifying weaknesses, identifying potential threats, and developing plans to defend against or recover from them. Unfortunately, security is frequently disregarded in some industries, and many companies have not thought about threat modeling. It's critical to prioritize safety first in the modern digital age, as so many individuals use passwords that are insecure and leave their mobile devices unattended. Organizations can reduce the likelihood of a security breach and mitigate potential damage by conducting a threat modeling exercise. In conclusion, threat modeling is a crucial step that shouldn't be overlooked. It assists businesses in identifying potential threats and creating plans to safeguard their assets and maintain business operations. Threat Modeling Methodologies To identify applications and systems, and rank potential threats companies should really engage in the activity of threat modeling. There are numerous methods, each with a new strategy and sequence of processes. The choice of threat modeling methodologies should align with the organization's needs and specific environment. Stride one widely used methodology is Stride, developed by Microsoft, which identifies threats related to spoofing, tampering, repudiation, information disclosure, denial of service, and elevation of privilege. Stride provides a comprehensive approach to identifying potential threats related to these six categories. Pasta. Pasta, another common methodology, focuses on using attack scenarios to identify potential threats. This simulation-based approach allows organizations to understand the possible paths attackers may take and how to prevent them. Trike Trike prioritizes potential threats based on their likelihood and impact, using a knowledge-based approach. VAST emphasizes visual representations, such as data flow diagrams, to identify potential threats. DREAD DREAD evaluates potential threats based on five criteria damage, reproducibility, exploitability, affected users, and discoverability. By analyzing these criteria, organizations can identify and prioritize potential threats. Attack trees. Attack trees is a detailed methodology that represents threats and their possible paths in a tree structure. This approach allows analysts to evaluate different possible attack scenarios and their impact. If you found this video informative and useful, we'll always bring new concepts explained for you. So stay tuned with Sprint Seal and if you like the video do share, if have any doubts or queries do let us know in the comment section. Use the coupon code YouTube10 in our website to get 10% off on all our courses.